Okay, hello, and um, this video I will talk about how to create a reverse gate on Cubase AI4. So, my friend and I, Orion, my friend, and I recorded a few weeks back this tune from our favorite, the best mode. Okay. So this channel over here only contains the syllable, the word I, okay? And what I'm planning to do is I will create a reverse gate out of that. So how do you do it on Cubase AI4? So first up, so as to avoid making any changes to this, I will just create a new track. I will create a new audio track and, okay? Box 5, I reverse. So I will just copy this one I over here. Uh, edit, copy, and uh, I will edit here. Edit, paste. Okay. Just so we're clear, the only intention that I did in copying that is that I don't, I don't want to mess around with already existing effects of the existing tracks. Okay, so now, going back to that, okay, I will click on solo here and make sure, just make sure I get that one I play. I. Okay, just one flag. I. Since this has, an, this has no, no effects, it's a newly created track, there's no effect, it's a dry mix. Okay. Modify the gain of that a little bit. Now, here's the thing. So I will... Okay, to create a reverse track, I will now make sure that I will record this track using um, wide frequency reverb, okay? So, let's try that, okay, with the default setting first. I... Okay, do that again. I. Okay, so you hear that reverb, it's not deep enough, it's not long enough. We need a reverb that has a high frequency range, at the same time, long. Okay, so from among the preset ones, okay, I have here Arena. Okay, let's try that. I. Let's try that again. I. Okay, so I have this mix. I can I can make this a stronger mix, a wetter mix, a more wet mix. I mean, I mean. I. Okay, let's try that again. We need it longer actually. So reverb time, we will make it longer. Make the frequency higher. Test that again. And again. Okay, so let's just make that and uh, make sure that we get a wide frequency response out of this. Okay, so one last try. Um, Okay, we will try that one more time, but this time we will take note at where exactly would the reverb stop, okay? We need to know that because our next step, uh, we need to know that because our next step is actually to record or record this track only with the reverb and create a new audio track out of that, 
Let's try it. Let's try that again. Play. Okay, good. Up to bar number 26. Okay. So, we will now extract this into an object file. File. Export. Okay, audio mix down. I will say, never let me down again. Rev gate. Rev. Then hit export. Okay, it will now generate the audio file. Okay, now the audio file is now generated and it is on the desktop of this machine. I will now do import that audio file. Okay, again we do that. Okay, file import audio file. Okay, so let's import this. Never let me down again. Rev. Okay, so this is our I. Okay, that with the verb. Play that. Oops. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. We actually did a reverb twice. I will make this no effect already. And then play back. Play that back again. Good. Okay. So we now have this I reverb only. The, the I uh, strongly reverb. What we do is right click that channel and in process, right click that audio, say audio, and under process, we say reverse. Okay. As you can see, the audio. Um, the audio is reversed already, already delete this, okay, we will now try that, try to play that and see if it sounds right. Okay, do that again. Okay, make sure that the eye, that Okay, the I, which most probably is this one. Okay, the I would actually be somewhere here, this point. Okay, make sure it coincides with that one. And let's try that again. Okay. One last. That sounds better. Let's try it with the entire music. Okay, that sounds good. So, I hope you enjoyed that little lesson on how to do a reverse gate. Uh, reverse, reverse, I don't know what it's called actually from Cubase AI4. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm taking a ride with my best friend.